This video will show you the basics of searching for journal articles in the Psych Articles database. I'm going to start on the SRC homepage. Go to the Student Services tab, and under the Learning Resource Center heading, click on Library Services. From this page, click on the databases A to Z, and then under the Psychology heading, click on the Psych Articles database. If you're viewing this video from the Psychology 130 Research Guide, you can scroll down and find a link to the database at the bottom of the page. First, I want to show you a keyword search with a few of the filters you can use. Keywords are words that can appear anywhere in an article, including within the title and the text. They're generally the default search in most databases. I'm going to start by typing in personality disorders Notice I have over 35,000 results. So now I want to use the filters on the left side of the page to narrow the search. First, let's make sure that we're only receiving full text articles. Click in the box and the database automatically updates. Now go to the publication date slider. Your instructor wants you to use an article from the past 10 years. So I'll change this to 2009 and click enter on the keyboard to update. Now it's down to just over 15,000 results. I'm going to use another filter to narrow the search even further. Have you ever noticed how web content will have tags associated with it? Those tags are the author telling us the subject of the content or the article. So that's what the filter by subject it is. It's the author telling us the main point of the article. So we're going to scroll down to the filter by subject. Click on Show More to open the dialog box. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose Adolescent Development. Then click Update. Now you can see it's knocked us down to 150 results. If you want to add more keywords throughout the process, just type into the search boxes above. I'm going to add Antisocial Behaviors to search to see what happens. Notice the change in the results. If you look to the left, the full text and date, date range filters are still applied. But the filter by subject limiter is gone because the database is mainly searching for the keywords instead. So I'm going to go back and include adolescent development again. Now I'm down to 75 results. Don't be afraid to experiment with the filters. You can always undo your filtered search by clicking on the X next to the search terms. Now I want to show you a cool search you can do with EBSCO's classification codes. Instead of searching with keywords, you can use this coding system that describes the content of the Psych Articles database. It's a good place to start if you don't have a subject in mind to search. I'll click on New Search to take me back to the opening page of the database. Then I'm going to scroll down to the box with the classification codes. For this search, I'm going to choose code number 3217, Personality Disorders. And since I also want to know about this subject in children, I'm going to use this other search box option and choose Childhood, Birth to 12 Years. Now I'll click Search. And look what we've got, 58 results. But remember, your instructor wants you to use an article from the past 10 years. So I'm going to change the date slider again. And then from this, I received 24 results. Now it's time to take a look at the articles. When you see a title that you're interested in, hold the cursor over the magnifying glass to the right, and a window pops up with the abstract of the article. An abstract is a summary of the article. Right here. When you found an article you want to read, you can click on either the HTML or the PDF 
link to view the full text of the article. Now to the right of the article are tools to help you send the article to your Google Drive, print the article, or email the article to yourself. And you can also cite this article. To cite the article, click on the icon, and a window is going to open that gives the article citation in many different styles. Choose the style your instructor wants you to use and copy and paste it into a document, but always double check to make sure the citation format is correct. For this class, you're required to use APA. That's what you'll copy and paste into your document. One of the important tools you also need to use for this assignment is the permalink tool. Whenever you're using a database and your instructor asks for the link to the article, you should use this tool instead of the URL, which is up here. The URL in your browser session will expire and it won't work for another user later on. Let's open the permalink box. This is the link that you'll want to copy and paste into your document. Remember that learning to search in an academic database is a new skill and it takes practice. These are just the basics of doing a search, so if you would like further assistance, please don't hesitate to contact the SRC librarian. You can always message me through Canvas, or additional contact information can be found on the library's website.